around the globe in the world of sea lanes, coastal waterways and deep water ports. Day and night oil tankers and the mariners are engaged in transporting the petroleum to where they are needed and have a vital role to play within the energy value chain. It all starts with the mariners who are highly skilled and professional. To even step on ship, they must receive licensing and credentials and must comply with ever-expanding regulations. The operations on board an oil tanker are radically different from those on other types of ships, primarily due to the physical properties of the cargo. The entire cargo operations are highly automated and proceed with no one on board the ship or shore seeing the cargo physically. Even minor misunderstanding of an order or a miscalculation can cause a major spill. Fire safety provisions for example are also much more stringent for tankers than ordinary dry cargo ships. Since the danger of fire on board ships carrying oil and refined products is much more greater. The entire authority and responsibility of the vessel and those on board lies with the captain and with this comes the accountability. He has the overall command and answerable for every operation and incident that occurs on the ship under his command. It's a demanding role and during his entire tenure, Master is on call 24 hours per day, 7 days per week, Sundays and holidays. Failure to effectively manage crisis situation, make quick and informed decisions and prioritize the safety of lives can be detrimental to the career or in the worst case, the future life of the captain. Hello friends, in this episode of Life at Sea, we will look at the life of captain on board oil tanker ship. Hello guys, my name is Captain Hansraj. I am captain with Eastern Pacific. It all started from my childhood as I had always the patience to join sea life. And after plus two, gave an entrance exam for Eastern Pacific, which earlier used to be called Tanker Pacific and was selected. Did my pre sea training from a marine college in Delhi known as Applied Research International. One of the principles that I follow as a captain is that to focus on people and not only on the equipment because everything else is fairly repairable or predictable but it's the human element that you need to focus on. Successful operation of ship are based on good effective communication and teamwork. When you have a team passionate, inspired and motivated to make a difference, give them the freedom to express their views and create an environment that allows them to become the better version of themselves. When you work together and succeed together, you feel good and you foster a better working environment with your colleagues on board. In my view, the model of a good captain is changed a little bit than what we used to have before. Earlier, most of the captain used to be very authoritarian, but now captain is a person who should filter all the communication rather than shutting off all the ideas the officers or the crew may have. It is not about talking, reading all the procedures. It is about exchanging ideas, information, and knowledge between crew or the crew and the management. When we are at sea, every day I spend my time on the bridge in the morning watching the sunrise. Watching the sunrise or the sunset is the most beautiful time in the entire day. Around 8 o'clock, I have my breakfast, then coffee, and then going through the emails in the radio room. Around 10 o'clock, we have our BMT meeting where we discuss the various job plans for the day and other ship related issues. Then I have my quick rounds on the ship. I try to choose different areas every single time. This is my chance to interact with my crew members irrespective of their departments.
I strongly believe that it gives the message that captain is interested in the running life of the ship. Guys, we are okay with the guys. We are Anybody all having any issue? Uh, we are not having any issue. Uh -huh. Except okay. this weather today is hot, so uh -huh. but they have control. Just drink a lot of water. Okay, very good. Yeah. So, time to time, take some salt water and some yeah, things. Yeah, okay. Some juice and all. Yeah. Keep yourself hydrated. Yes. And make sure that uh, guys are in proper safety gear while carrying. Yeah, we always okay. 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 okay, so he's our boatswain, guys. When we take time to let crew know that we value and appreciate them, it inspires them to continue doing even more and more and create a culture that allows others to do the same and become a better version of themselves. In the evening, I do my workout and that's the time I recharge myself. It helps me to get over the overall stress levels and improve the overall quality of life on board, both mentally and physically. Also, I make it a point to motivate my other colleagues too, to regularly do workout on board. Everybody wants to be heard and feel like they have value and these activities give me a chance to talk to my colleagues in more laid back settings, free from the normal course of daily routine on board. Group workout is a way to find motivation. Apart from physical benefit, the psychological benefit of working out in a group is that it boosts the self-esteem and confidence of my crew. When at open seas, the navigating officers and crew can handle watchkeeping. However, challenging navigation in straits like Singapore, Swiss Canal or other port calls require manning level to be increased. Parts of sea are like highways when lot of vessels are using same route to reach their destination. While most days in sea are calm, one can never predict the weather. Sailing through rough seas safely requires master to utilize all his expertise. Deck officers and crew on navigating bridge spend half of their day as working day. This also includes 4 hours of night watch in more or less complete darkness. While everybody sleeps on board, these men make sure that ship is being navigated safely throughout. Every night I write the specific bridge orders along with my standing orders for the bridge team to follow. Day to day work on board is highly demanding and it is a big task to keep all the vessel system running. In all the activities, my first priority is the safety of crew, the ship and cargo that sea may be carrying and protecting the marine environment from being adversely impacted by the activities of the ship. No matter how big or small a company is, but most valuable asset always remains its employee. They are the building blocks of the company. Thus, I try to motivate my crew members regularly through various activities on board like get together party, team building, or group workouts on board. Give a big round of applause for him. Life at sea is very much different than to life. Everybody does a show. Here we need to split our existence in between here and the family. I feel that when I am coming here, I find my solitude and consider as second home and crew as my family members too. It has been 22 years now that I have been working with Eastern Pacific and I have the feeling that I am a part of a greater organization and therefore you are more and more motivated to contribute to the greater success of this company. Any questions or suggestions? Please drop your comments below and I will respond to that at earliest. If you like this video, please do share and subscribe the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified for more ship related videos.